Hello church, Bob Myers here sharing with you today from Proverbs 22 as we go through our Bible study today, as we study through the book of Proverbs and again just uh, delightful pearls of wisdom that the Lord is distilling for us in the Proverbs today. And again, this is like Solomon is just going along and just sharing some thoughts, but they're godly thoughts. Uh, Solomon set his heart to wisdom. And his prayer was that the Lord would give him wisdom to know how to rule. And out of that wisdom, he is proclaiming these proverbs and sharing them with us through the word of God. Uh, and the, this proverb deals a lot with business and how to approach business in the proper way and the proper perspective. And it starts out very good. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor than rather than silver and gold. A good name is to be chosen rather than riches, <clears throat> great riches. The value of a good name, and this isn't just to have a good reputation, but to have a name of character. We read in the scripture about God's name and how God is jealous over his name. Not to profane the name of God. We're commanded not to profane the name of God. And God takes issue with people who treat his name lightly. His name is valuable. Your name is valuable. My name is valuable. We need to guard our name, not in terms of protecting our reputation, but we need to guard our character so that our name is a reflection of our character and our name is synonymous with our character, which is steadfast and godly and does the right things. Uh, the rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. God is the God over all, rich and poor. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So verse 3 there, it says, A prudent man understands that things can change. There may be danger coming, and he takes precautions against that. By humility and fear of the Lord are riches and honor in life, not by ambition and conniving and scheming. It's by humility and the fear of the Lord, because the Lord adds riches, and he adds no sorrow with it. Thorns and snares are in the way of the forward, but he that doth keep his soul is far from them. Again, just some some things of, of how we to can comport ourselves so that our character is unimpugned before men because we're walking rightly with the Lord. And then six is a one that we're familiar with. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. Promise and statement, wisdom. From the word of God. And then verse 15 kind of tells us how. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. There's a way to train up a child that's in the way he should go. And it's by discipline, loving discipline. Uh, 16, he that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Again, business. If you oppress the poor to increase your own wealth, that's not going to work for you because the Lord will plead their case, he says in another verse down here. Um, and, and the value, again, of a name, the name of God. God is jealous over his name. We need to be jealous over our name and protect it. Not for reputation's sake. This is not being people pleaser. This is protecting our character by walking with God and doing what's right and walking in wisdom. Wisdom of Proverbs, Psalm 22. Proverbs 22. Be blessed today.